Hello, and welcome back to Wrath's Let's Play Frontier. Uh, when last we left, I was heavily damaged, and now I'm not. That's pretty much what happened. I also assigned the power tabs while uh, in between episodes. So, Chrono and Frog both have an extra point of strength. And we have a save point. So, yay! Oops. Or the big guy teleported in from. And just a little short. There we go. One hit point left, and then we finish him off. Well, that takes care of that. Kicking people isn't nice either. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the way that this game works, uh, part of the reason that I did not give Luca a strength update is even though she is physically not the strongest character, she does not benefit from physical strength. Her main attack, the ranged uh, blaster, benefits from accuracy. And now I think about it, I'm not sure if there are any accuracy uh, boosting items in that way. I think there are some uh, accessories and equipment that boost it. I don't think there's anything that just provides a permanent stat upgrade. And we're just going to take all three of these guys out at once. Huzzah. Hmm, I wonder what this button does. Oh, it makes more bats. Why would there be a bat button? That just seems, well, silly. Why do they have to be mad bats? What about angry? Or disillusioned? Well, uh, indeed. We do?
Yay. Now also, as you saw there, it's important to know what you're attacking and with what. Because some things are weaker to other things, and more importantly, some techniques only go as far as you put them to go. Somehow I don't think that's going to be strong. Always remember to check the piano or organ. Oh, it definitely did something. Wrong button. Now here, since uh, Chrono is completely out of MP, and everyone's got some damage on them, and we're about to run up against the boss, now we're going to tape. That'd be a cool ride at Disney World. A haunted side at the haunted castle of hauntedness. You know, except for the monsters that eat you. That wouldn't be so fun. Yay! Probably is muscular for a frog person thing. I'm not sure exactly what I'm basing that on because I'm not sure there's any other character to compare him to. Also, the fact that he has a really big sword, I think, says something for him. Yay, flawless victory. Okay, I'm not quite sure how that worked, but whatever. Just get them both out of the way at once. another save point, but since we just spent time healing. How did we get in here? Oh, that's right, we fought our way past all of your soldiers. Well, if it's useless to fight, then you won't mind me doing it anyway. Uh-oh. That looks serious. And now we have our first boss fight. Doing pretty good on the counterattacks, or 
critical hits, I should say. Uh-oh. She definitely needs some healing now. I really do dislike that attack. It's annoying. Yay! We defeated Yakra. And we got a new at attack. Multiple new attacks. Hooray! We have saved the day. But first, dibs on loot. Okay, now, how do they fit him in there? And, since we've just finished off our first boss fight, we're going to stop this episode here. So, as always, good gaming. And we'll talk to you soon.